Today I'm going to show you my shopping experience with AliExpress. And with AliExpress, I usually find them a lot cheaper than I can source locally. £57.99 with free shipping, and this is what I got. So one, two, three, four, five. There's five kilos of filaments in here. They are the carbon fiber PETG. Is it really strong in terms of pulling it apart? Let's say bend it, do that, and it still didn't break. Let's load it up in the machine and uh, print something from it. So I'm super excited. And this is a six hour print. The file is free for download and um, it's the first time I'm printing this. I'm going to take this off the print bed. So to print um, this type of uh, PTEG um, carbon fiber, I put hairspray. I got my wife expensive hairspray here. Um, you use the hairspray not to make it stick, to make it less sticky. You can see the mark that I have you um, done before. So if you don't use the hairspray, it's going to break your plate. So moment of truth, how easy it is to get out of the bed. Easier than me getting out of bed in the morning, I can tell you that. So a bit of glue and uh, perseverance with a hammer, forged my first uh, PETG carbon fiber sword. Um, the design is really good, so all the pieces come together. So this is my first uh, prototype. Now I've got it dialed in, I'm going to print another one, but with different color. This is my host uh, adapter, so they go into the 4 inch pipes. So when I need to change to a different configuration, they can easily pull apart. And um, they come out, marry together and click together. The, this thing is really, really strong and compact resistant. Uh, you can't get this um, kind of um, strength with your PLA. Then this one here, I think I show you in my previous video. So this is going to be the exhaust port on the back of the um, P2S. Again, this is really, really durable. So even if something going to crash on it, it's not going to break. I'll put the link in the description. This is from Jayo. And um, I do need to increase the nozzle temperature to, I think, was 260 degrees. And I do have to slow it down. The configuration for the Bamboo Lab Carbon Fiber um, PETG is too fast for printing um, delicate parts. So, um, for example, if I'm printing something like this, there is a little bit of a curve and there's no big overhangs or no complicated shape. Um, it can print into the default fast setting. That's all I have time for you today. Don't forget to share, like, and subscribe to my channel to help me grow. Now, my channel is quite random. Today is about the Jayo filament um, for my P2S um, new Bamboo Lab printer. But my channel is all about saving you money, so you don't always have to buy the brand, branded product. You just need to know what you expect.